Hello, good people of the internet. It's been a while since I'd done a burger review. Five guys in Baxter just moved, I should say. Five guys, five guys burgers and fries just put in a location in Baxter. So let's see what we got. Okay, before, before I even touch this burger, let me just say that their menu is very weird. Uh, so they have at the top a uh, hamburger, cheeseburger, uh, bacon cheeseburger, and then little cheeseburger, little burger, right? And uh, so it's so confusing as to what exactly that means <sighs> that the employees actually have to tell you that a hamburger has two patties and a little hamburger has one patty. So there's already terminology for this, of course. A hamburger has one patty. A double hamburger has two patties. But they have decided to deviate from this so much and to say a hamburger has two patties and a small hamburger, which I would also, I would call a slider, is actually a regular size hamburger. So, so their menu is so confusing, right off the bat, the employees have to tell you, have to explain to you how the menu works. So, seriously guys, what, what the heck? five guys and you couldn't figure out how to write a menu uh that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie that worries me that worries me for sure um they obviously make their own french fries they've got potatoes all over their dining room in bags fresh made fries um first of all caveat that we don't actually review the fries we just eat them and talk about them. I can tell they're fresh. I can tell they have not been a frozen, pre-made french fry. So, you know, A for effort, guys. But I gotta tell you, they're just not very good. They're not. Don't care for those fries. Sorry. Okay, so the next thing about Five Guys Burgers. You buy a burger, all the toppings are included. All the toppings. So if you don't tell them you want anything on it, you don't get anything on it. You get a burger, no ketchup, no mustard, no pickles, nothing. Which is super weird. Again, don't really understand that. Um, basically, it, what it amounts to is if you want, if you want a lot of stuff on your burger, it's going to be way cheaper than if you want just a burger with pickles and cheese or something. I don't know. Anyway, so they wrap it in foil. They wrap it up real tight. Uh, my bacon is super crispy my cheese is still not melted my burger's a little flat it, it, it the bun looks like it was smushed um i waited nine minutes for this by the way guys i mean this this burger has disappointed me in more ways than one before i even bit into it so, there's been a lot of hype over how good Five Guys Burgers is. I tell you, you better be gosh darn good for uh, for disappointing me this much. Everything's just falling out. Everything is just falling out of this burger. My onions, my pickles. I haven't even taken a bite yet and it's falling apart. You know, I'm going to do another burger review for Five Guys in like a month because... I feel like I already haven't given them a fair shake. There was 15 people working here, by the way. 15 people working here. It took nine minutes to get a burger. All right. So I got a bacon cheeseburger with pickles, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions, and mayonnaise.
Um, well, 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 first off, I got to tell you, it's really bland. It almost tastes like the burger didn't even get seasoned. Like no ketchup or mustard on it. I mean, no salt or pepper. It's dry. It's bland. All the toppings are bland. So, this burger costs a little more than $8. As far as I can tell, It's a $2 burger that they're charging $8 for. I'll come back in like a month, do another burger review here for five guys, but it's probably the most disappointing burger I've had in a long time. Yeah, well, I had to tell you, the tomato is just like mealy. The meat has no flavor at all. None. Well, sorry guys, but you guys tanked this one. I absolutely bombed it. I'm going to give this burger a 2.5. Do not recommend. I don't know what all the hype's about. Um... Yep. The bacon's overcooked. The cheese isn't melted. And it doesn't even taste like there's salt on this burger. I, 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 I honestly don't know what to say. This is the most disappointing I've been in a meal in quite some time. Um, I paid a little more than $8 for this cheeseburger. And I feel like it's not worth two. Um, yep, so, uh, you know, come on out here if you dare, if you, uh, if you want to try Five Guys, go ahead and try it, but, um, prepare to be disappointed.